All right, welcome to a quick video walkthrough of Box Control, the beta version. Uh, should be released October 11th, 2010. Once it's installed, you're going to go to your IP address on port 2010, and you'll come to this login screen. You'll receive the default password when you install it. You log in, the first thing you see is the panel itself. You're going to have the uh, Apache section, MySQL, SSH, SendMail, and a file editor up top. The main page has running processes, CPU information, hard drive space, installed packages, and your traffic statistics. The very front page gives you an overview of your services, if they're online or offline. You can add and remove services to this section from a configuration file. Your host name, your uptime, your load average, some information about the kernel and your current RAM usage and how much you have free. Your running processes, it's going to list out for you what you have running. CPU information, how many cores do you have, all the information on the cores available. Hard drive space, how much you've used, how much you have free. And installed packages, it'll show you everything that you have installed on your system through yum. Uh, you can also click this link here to update all of the uh, packages that yum takes care of and that will take place in the background and it will update everything that it finds an update for. Traffic statistics, this uses VNstat with a PHP front end that I uh, found from this guy and uh, integrated it into the panel for you. Um, first page gives you a summary of how much uh, how much traffic has gone in, out, and the total. Your hours will give you a uh, graphical chart and it will break it down for you. Then you can go to days and you can go to months. And the Apache section. Here we have uh, online um, or offline we can start stop or restart the uh, panel. If we wanted to start it because it's offline, you just click start. Say Apache will start within six, uh, 60 seconds. You go back and it's based off of a cron job. So you can see that it runs once every minute. Right now it's uh, 31 seconds into that minute. As that goes up, once it hits zero, you'll see the Apache uh, server go from offline to online. We'll come back to that in just one second. If you want to view the error log for Apache, you can uh, click this link. It'll give you the last 50 lines in the error log. There's nothing here, but if I did have something on this test server, you'd see it. Uh, let's go back to the main page. And let's see, it should run the cron just now. And you can see it's online now. Go back to the Apache page. Let's say you want to edit the uh, Apache configuration file to add a uh, a uh, new domain or something. You click, uh, it's just going to show that one uh, file. Click on that. Go down. You could add whatever you want here into the virtual host section. I'll just add that. Save changes. It'll say file saved. Click here to go back to the editor. We open it again. You will see that it did save the changes. Now the uh, MySQL server, uh, I don't have one installed on this test server, but if I did, it's the same as Apache. Um, SSH, same uh, start, stop, and restart uh, commands, and you can also edit the file just like the Apache configuration file if you want to, say, change the port to something else or whatever. Uh, SendMail, I uh, just had a lot of clients request that they wanted to be able to start and stop uh, send mail service from a browser, so I went ahead and integrated that into it. And finally, the file manager. Uh, this is WebNight Commander. Uh, the source code for this can be found uh, through this link. It's a one-page file manager. Uh, SourceForge has it right here and lots of good stuff about it. Um, integrated it into this. Uh, it's going to have a separate username and password just for security. You can just pull these into here, click Login, 
and basically uh, this is it you can go through uh, your home there's nothing in there um, any files that you want to edit they have to be owned by uh, the Lighty web server um, let's see what could I show you we'll just go into here and show you the panel files as you can see it's all this um, you're not going to get this iframe bar if you have a better resolution I had to lower the screen resolution to be able to take this video and give a good quality video um, but let's say you wanted to view this you can see uh, it's encoded with iron cube but you can view it uh, quit that if Lighty owns it you could go over here and you could actually edit the file in here it's a uh, pretty nice little system and that's about it that's a quick overview uh, box control beta version should come out soon and uh, if you have any questions visit the forum at zen6.org uh, we have a uh, dedicated section for box control that I just threw up about two seconds ago. Alright, thanks.